Hi, and welcome to your 10th iOS programming tutorial. And today, we're going to be looking at generating random text. It's very similar to generating a random number, which we covered in tutorial number 9. However, there's a few differences. So let's get started. Open up Xcode and create a new project. I'm going to call mine random text, but you can call yours whatever you want. Select use storyboards, use automatic reference counting, include unit tests, and my devices will just be set to iPhone. Then click create and create your project. Then we'll go into our main storyboard.storyboard. .storyboard. Let's drag in a label and a button. So drag in the label, let's make it a bit bigger so that we can fit all the text. And I'm going to send to the labels text and center the label just to make it look a bit nicer make the text a bit bigger then you'll probably have a list of random text you might want to generate so just type in one of those into this label here I'm just going to type a random text and then drag in a button and call that generate random text then go into your assistant editor and after the at interface line type curly bracket, press enter so Xcode inserts the closing curly bracket for you, and then right click and drag on a random text and place it in between the two curly brackets. Make sure the connection is an outlet, name will just call label, type UI label and storage strong, then click connect. Then let's do the same for generate random text except insert it below the closing curly bracket but above at end and set it to be an action type ID, event touch up inside, argument sender, and we'll call it generate rand text. So the reason we do this is because we need an action to detect when the button has been clicked. And when the button is clicked, we need to generate some random text and set the text of the label, so we need an outlet for our label, to be equal to the text, the, uh, the random text. So now go into your viewcontroller.m, go back into your single editor, and inside the IB action generate random text, we're going to start adding in some code. So we need to create an int, and we'll call this random number. We need to create an NS string, and we'll call that tech. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll call that text string. And we need to create an array, and we'll call that array or text array. Then add a semicolon. So we're going to generate a random number, and then we're going to have an array, which an array is essentially a list. We haven't covered it yet, but essentially just think of it as a list. In this case, it will be a list of text, and so it'll be a list of the possible text that we could have. So let's begin by creating that array. And what we're going to do, sorry, is we're going to go from that array, select the maybe the fifth object, if the random number we generate is a five, or if the random number is ten, then select the tenth object, and set the string to be equal to the tenth object. And a string is just text, remember. And then we'll just say the label's text should be text string. So under the NS array text array line, type text array equals open square brackets NS array array with objects. Make sure it's objects, not object. And then uh, inside the bubble that has an ID in it, type at talking mark talking mark and then close that square bracket and after the colon um, before the at talking mark talking mark press enter and then after the comma next to at talking mark talking mark add two enters then in between there type at talking mark talking mark comma again and then let's just copy this these two lines the at talking mark talking mark and paste a few more of them here is where we are going to insert all the possible random text to generate I'll just make it one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. You can do the same, or you can insert some other random text. This can be any text you want. So, that's essentially what it looks like. And if you wanted more than ten objects, you just do another at talking mark, talking mark, and then a comma. And then insert inside the talking marks whatever you want the text to be. So that's all our random text. Well, that's all our text. Now we need to select one of these options randomly. So, go random number equals arc for rand, arc for random, sorry, and then two circular brackets, and then percentage, then square brackets, text array, space count. 
and then close that square bracket and add a semicolon. Then type uh, text string. Oh, we'll do an end type and then type. Uh, let me delete this line of code and then type text string equals and then we need to do a square bracket text array object at index random number close that square bracket and press enter and then do label dot text equals text string and add a semicolon let me explain what this code is doing and then we'll run the application and make sure it works so I've explained these first three lines we're creating a number that's what an int is a positive number that has no decimal places then we're creating some text and we're creating an array or a list so then we're setting the objects of the list so we're just saying the first thing in the list is going to be the text number one the second thing will be and the second text which in my case is two and so on and I've set 10 objects but you could set as many as you want and then we're going create a random number and that random number needs to be between 0 and the number of objects we have in our array in my case there are 10 objects in my array so the random number will be, be between 0 and 9 it's in fact 10 numbers so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or 10 but an array starts with 0 so where I've got the text 1 that's actually the 0 object then 2 is actually the first object, and so on. So it starts at 0. So if I were to want more text, I'd just do press enter and add, add talking mark, talking mark, comma, and add some more text. I don't need to change the number uh, between 0 and whatever number for the random number, because it's just going, how many objects are there in the list or the array? And in my case, there are 10 objects in the array. If I add another one, then this will be 11. So it will go generate a, num a random number between 0 and 11, or 0 and 10, because there are 11 numbers. Then we're saying we need to have some text. So text is equal to our list and then the object at the number, so at the number of random number. So if our random number is 3, then find the third object and that's what our text equals and then set the labels text, which is actually visible to the user, to be this text here. So you don't really need to worry about all that, how, uh, how all that works. You just need to know if you want to add more objects, just do add talking mark, talking mark, comma, and then put the text inside those talking marks. The rest is all just extra code just to make it work, pretty much. Then click on Run, and let's run our application and see if it works. So wait for the iOS simulator to load up, and what should happen is when we click on the button, some random text will be generated and displayed in our label. The random text will be one of these ten things here. So, the iOS simulator is now started up, and let's test it out. So, it starts with a random text, as we inserted in our storyboard. But you've noticed that that's not actually one of the op random options. So, I'm just going to go back to my storyboard and set a random text to be 3. And then run this again. Okay, let's generate some random text by clicking on Generate Random Text. As you can see, every time it generates a random text as per the possible ones here and if I keep clicking you'll see it will eventually go to all of them and you'll see that it has worked the one thing you might be wondering is how do I generate some random text when the application starts up so that's quite easy so go up to the top of your code in your viewcontroller.m and underneath the super view did load and void view did load and after that comment press enter a couple of times and then type square bracket self and then the name of our IV action, which is generate ran text, and then ID self. Then close your square bracket. And what that's just going to do is every time the application loads, it's going to do all of this even though we haven't clicked the button. So it's pretty much just tricking the iPhone into thinking we have clicked the button. So now it's generated five. Let's stop the application and run it again and see what it generates randomly when it starts up now. Now it's two. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learnt something from it, and if you have any questions about generating random text, random numbers, or anything random, just message us via YouTube or through our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com, or our Facebook page. All the links are in the description, or you can just leave a comment on this video. It's not too difficult to generate other random things, like randomly hide or show a button or any of that, but do message us if you want to know how and you can't work it out yourself. So be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you for another tutorial next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.